The Great American Eclipse will cause massive energy loss. The eclipse is just around the corner, and while many are excited, the astronomical event will also lead to a gigantic dip in solar energy production. The Great American Eclipse may cause a loss in solar energy production, enough to power some 7 million homes. According to U.S. government data, California provides 40% of the solar energy in the U.S. The state will see its solar power generation capacity reduced by 70% between 9.02 a.m. and 11.54 a.m. local time on the day of the eclipse. To fill the power gap during this time, solar-reliant grids may turn to natural gas or hydro plants for energy. The eclipse is set to take place on August 21st, 2017 in the U.S. Don't let YouTube ad bots dictate what Tomo News reports. Support us at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Solar power is the way of the future. New solar sunglasses harvest solar power. Researchers in Germany have successfully developed a pair of sunglasses that can generate power. The sunglasses contain organic solar cells, which are flexible and can be made into a variety of shapes and colors. The frames are also equipped with electronics, including a microprocessor, two sensors, and two displays. The solar power captured by the lenses are used to run the electronics, which measure current illumination intensity and ambient temperatures that are displayed on bar graphs. The lenses can generate about 200 milliwatts of excess power, which is enough to run devices such as a step counter, hearing aid, or a small speaker. The solar sunglasses work best in direct sunlight, but they can also work in dimmer lighting environments, such as inside homes or at the office. The researchers say the technology could be applied to the glass facades of high-rise buildings. Such a large surface area would enable the new solar cells to generate significantly more power. China powers on world's largest floating solar farm. China just flipped the on switch on their latest green energy project. A new floating solar farm constructed on a lake in Huainan City in central China is said to be the largest in the world. It is made up of 160,000 solar panels. These panels can produce electricity for up to 15,000 homes. The farm is connected to a city where some 2.5 million people reside. The panels are placed at varying depths over the lake. The water helps cool the electronics in the devices and stops them from overheating. Solar energy, like wind, is sporadic and environmentally dependent, meaning the amount of power panels can gather may sometimes fluctuate depending on the weather. U.S. homes have huge solar potential. Google launched a project called Project Sunroof in 2015, which measures the solar potential of individual homes in the U.S. The results showed that most U.S. homes have great solar viability. Google says 79% of all U.S. rooftops are solar viable, which means four out of every five homes have enough unshaded area for solar panels to be installed. The result was calculated using 3D modeling of the homes and nearby trees to determine the amount of sunlight and shade the roof receives. In Hawaii, Arizona, Nevada, and New Mexico, more than 90% of the homes are solar viable while in Pennsylvania, Maine, and Minnesota, only over 60% are viable. The project began in Boston, Fresno, and the San Francisco Bay Area. It has since expanded to every U.S. state, with about 60 million buildings across the country having been analyzed. Hey, Tomo Sapiens! Help us beat the ad bots by joining our Patreon News Squad at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Endless energy with one coat of paint. Researchers from the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology have invented a novel new paint that can turn surfaces into a hydrogen power generator. Synthetic molybdenum sulfide is a newly developed compound that absorbs moisture and accelerates the splitting of water molecules. When mixed with titanium oxide in paint, the resulting substance is able to produce hydrogen energy from sunlight and water vapor. Hydrogen is one of the cleanest sources of energy and can be used to power vehicles and equipment. The solar paint can generate hydrogen energy in remote locations or hot and dry climates so long as there is sunlight and moisture in the air. Researchers believe it will take at least five years to come up with the final product, but they're confident that it will be cheap and accessible. Genius device harvests water from desert air. 
Certain parts of the world still lack access to safe water, but a new contraption made by a team from UC Berkeley and MIT might soon change that. The system consists of metal organic framework or MOF crystals pressed into a thin sheet and placed in a chamber between a solar absorber and a condenser plate. MOFs are a combination of organic and inorganic materials in a tightly packed matrix. Specific uses depend on the type of combination used. While some MOFs absorb gas, this particular one excels at absorbing water. The chamber is left open at night, allowing air to diffuse through the porous crystals and water to attach to its interior surface. During the day, sunlight heats up the water molecules in the MOF, turning them into vapor that then condenses and is collected below. When tested under the same conditions as arid and desert areas, the prototype managed to pull 2.8 liters of water over a 12-hour period. The device is a significant first step, but still holds much room for improvement. For now, the team is working on making it better, particularly in terms of efficiency and output.